Everybody, welcome back to Third Edge Total War Divide and Conquer. My name is Seth. I want to first off apologise for the long delay between uh, this episode and the last episode. It has been quite some time. Unfortunately, the uh, the uh, getting the internet to provide a setup took nearly two weeks. That was the earliest date that they could book us in to get the uh, internet internet activated. Um, so they had to, you know, they, if you live in the UK, they, they, I don't know if it's the same in other places, it probably is, but based on the UK, there's a green box at the end of a road and they have to go in there and set up the property, like connect the property up to the main line and then they set it up at their end in their central office, wherever that is. It's a stupidly, it's a stupid process and it, for some reason that takes two weeks and I don't understand why, but we are back, that's all that matters. And we're going to start off with the battle for Balorn. So, in theory, if I can win this, if I can destroy Fimran the Wrathful and his garrison, then Balorn will fall to us completely. So I've got quite a lot of cavalry, thankfully, in this army. A uh, good couple of uh, Dol Amroth-style units with gold chevron experience. So we're going to be fighting this army to start with. I can take out these four missile units really easily, plus the outlaws really easily, so my cavalry could deal with them quite quickly. It's these four heavy infantry bits that's going to be a bit of a problem. I've got a couple of archers to deal with them, but uh, we're probably not going to be doing too much damage with those archers to start off with. So, um, yeah, if I can just take care of their missile units first, then that would be the most ideal thing, I think. If I can draw their, their melee troops in to hit my front line, I can take out their archers really, really quickly and then pull everything around to surround that army. And hopefully I can get through that before their reinforcements arrive. So we'll see how this goes. Unfortunately, it looks like the map's going to be a little bit a little bit of a problem, only because I'm not really a big fan of wooded maps either. Uh, let's go group four over here. Our general and these guys can go over here. Okay. Archers. Now, the enemy don't have any cavalry, thankfully, so that's uh, something I don't have to worry about. Because we hate, or at least I hate, the enemy's javelin cavalry. Let's do this. Set these guys up in shield wall. Oh, I've got another spear unit. Duh. Let's put them this side. Lovely. These melee troops. There. The Alright. So my cavalry on my right flank is hidden. So is my cavalry on the left, except for my general. Generals don't generally get uh, get hidden. Okay, so we're gonna get our archers to aim for these pikemen. Oh, look at those foresters on their own out here. Haha, <laughs> you guys are going to get slaughtered. Let's move my cavalry now. Like I said, we need to take care of this entire army quickly. Well, as quickly as possible. Now, the enemy's other troops are sort of catching up to their pike units. So I'm hoping to do some extra damage there. Do -do -do. Now, the Pinneth Gelling cavalry have some pretty good... Pretty sure they're pretty good. Let's have a look. Yeah, charge bonus of 10 compared to okay, 14, 11, 13, 13. So they have the the lowest charge ability or charge bonus. But still pretty decent to be fair. Oh, those are river elders. Let's not charge straight into them. <laughs> I'm going to try and surround them. Oh, we got the enemy captain. Nice. He was in the River Elder unit. I forgot about that. Oh. They've actually 
chased my other cavalry unit. That seems to be fine, actually, because it means that I can do whatever I need to, really. Oh, hold on. Well, let's move them out of the way before they get charged. Oh, come on, move, 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 move. Damn it. I was being a little too anno uh, a little too careless there. Okay. Uh, cavalry, you guys are fine there. Where are those... Ah. Those foresters are over there. Our general is here. Moot pikemen are there. Right, you run them down. You come across. We're going to take out these raiders. Melee infantry. Let's get off to the flanks over here quickly. Let's get those raiders. There's the enemy reinforcements coming in. So we need to really get rid of this force as soon as possible. need to, I will use these two peacekeepers to slow them down, but I'm hoping I don't need to do that. Alright, we got them routed. All those raiders are routed. You guys are over there. You're over here. Let's put you up this way. And you. Okay, cavalry back together. Oh, Pinneth Gellin, let's not go into the pike unit, please. Oh my goodness, two of you just basically had heart attacks. You weren't even, in, you weren't even touching the line. And just died from heart attacks. Right. So we just charge into the backs here. Hopefully we can... Okay, River Elders are routed. Excellent. Right, Archers, let's actually get you focusing fire there. Outlaws. Can you not chase them that way, please? Let's charge it to them over there. So my generals are waiting for these routing troops to pass through. Nice, let's put our carry out of the way now. So we're just making sure that this entire army doesn't get back here. So what we got coming in now? We've got some more pikes in the bound. Otherwise, not too bad. Not too bad. Right, archers, you can hold fire. Let's pull you across here. Close to where the other enemy troops are coming in. Lost a fair few spearmen, actually, unfortunately. Right, you, general, charging into those pikemen there. See if we can get a charge in them, distract them a little bit. That's for the rest of our cavalry. Okay. Now back away because they've just turned around. Peacekeepers charge in. Oh, I lost a lot of my bodyguard there. Don't tell me I lost my general. No, I didn't. He's bloodied, but he's still okay. Let's not do that again, shall we? <laughs> oh, God, he's down to eight. Oh, you are staying out of this. You can get over here. Right. Let's turn the line. Right. Archers. Shoot these other moot pikemen. Mr. 8, you can charge down the uh, routers, I think. And then this general can charge into those moot keepers. Not the pikemen, but the keepers. We'll set up a line here. 
Right, I'm going to get one of my guys here to charge into the enemy general there. Hopefully we can kill him in the charge. Wreck this other army's morale. Right, back out, let them retreat. Give them, a, give them, a, give them a, a direction to try and run through. No, oh, apparently not. Okay, never mind. Okay, we didn't get the general. Oh, we've got foresters coming in there as well. Alright, let's back our cavalry up. Let's not give them a reason to chase us in this direction. Oh, they are just going to chase us in this direction. Okay. Move keepers and pikemen. Flattered they're sending so many. Well, seeing as their general is now nice and open, let's uh, go run him down, shall we? One charge from the front, one charge about to hit from the back. I still haven't killed the general yet. But his bodyguard is down to less less than 20. Which is pretty decent considering how many he probably started off with. You got anyone you need to run down over here? I'm seeing a star. Did I just... Ah, there he is. Seven, seven uh, elders left. Might as well take them out. Oh, hello. Wasn't paying attention. General, back away. That way. Thank you. Gonna run down those elders up top there. The Gendlin cavalry is going in. Although I may have just trapped them because of those moot keepers. No, we have got an avenue of escape, so we'll take that. Whoa, carry, get out of the way. Let's go take care of these move keepers here. Still can't get to the enemy general because of these pikemen. Those Mook Pikemen are still there from the first army. Wrecking one of my swordsmen. I can't really afford to uh, break up the line. What are we down to? 33%. Oof. Ooh, that's painful. Down to 36 Penneth Gellin Cavalry. This is uh, not looking nice and tidy at the moment, is it? <laughs> Come on, let's take care of these river elders. If we get this general, please. This would be fantastic if we can. So far, he has survived multiple charges. <laughs> it's starting to annoy me a little bit. Still alive. 
No, Only General, when I tell you to go that way, you need to go that way, please. So I'm guessing we've just crushed them. Nice. Finally, those pipes are broken. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. See how many of my men come back from this. <laughs> Let's see what kind of charge we can get with these lot. Cavalry's too tired to do any decent charges now. Where is that general? I'm not seeing any banners. Oh, he's right there amongst my cavalry. That's why I couldn't see him. There we go. Thank goodness for that. Whew. All right, general down. Enemy army is broken. Loads of pikemen to deal with yet. 138. These move keepers are just getting absolutely slaughtered. Okay. The farm hands have actually held out quite well. They've lost loads of men. They're only down to 80, but, um, you know, they've held the line, so that's good. Oh, that's everything. That's all of them. That's all the enemy destroyed now. Except for these pikemen, obviously. Okay. May want to turn around, incoming pikemen. <laughs> Everything into these pikes. We're going to pin them down so my cavalry can just get the biggest line charge I can afford to do. <laughs> right to their rears. Oh, they broke. Never mind. Pursue and run them down. So some troops did escape, as you can see on the minimap, but uh, not important. The enemy are utterly there we go. Vanquished. Six sixty-three. This is a great victory, worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Thirty-eight percent of my army destroyed. Ten sixty-six. The number of soldiers I have remaining. Captain Nissan has 46 survivors. Zero survivors from the garrison army at Balorn, which is perfect because that means that castle is now ours as we were sieging it. So that is brilliant. I finally have taken Balorn from Enidwaith. It's taken a long time. It's taken a long time. We got there. We got there. So now, when it gets to the next turn, the plan will be to get some reinforcements up to Balorn. Well is destroyed. Is Sack the settlement. And Ruin is attacking. Now you see, the problem I have here is that they have chariots, and I hate chariots. And they are not affected by wooden stakes, which is not good. I do not have the, re the forces to uh, hold them at Moranon, so this is the big problem I was I'm now going to have, is Rune attacking me from the rear. <laughs> so if I want to complete our campaign, which is to defeat Mordor, I need to get a move on. Mordor have one province left, I believe. So uh, I need to get moving. 
foes appear to be gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yes, I realize this. Move out, march! Onward! Move out! Move out! Move out! Your stakes! Move out! Your stakes! Forward! March! Onward! Forward! Your stakes! Cease fire! Right, let's put... Oh, wait, there's two... Two gates. Ah, crap. Which one are they going for? Where is that ram? Wait, what? I can't even see a ram. What's going on? Uh, you can't hide the ram, so the unit can't be... Oh, wait, hold on. There it is. <laughs> I was being stupid. So they're on the right-hand side. Why they've got ladders, I don't know, because the, those ladders aren't long enough for the wall. Um, so they're probably going to go for this one, by the looks of things. I'll take the risk that they're going for that one. Right. So all of my archers are going to focus on their chariots, because screw the chariots. <laughs> Big time screw the chariots. Let's put some spears there. Got a militia here. I'll put my rangers up top as well in a second. Right. Rangers. Up top now. Thankfully, the uh, battle ram's got a long way to go. Oh, we've got a ballista tower. That's awesome. Wait, you can't seriously be going through that gate, surely? Are you just marching up? Wait, what? No, oh, there's one chariot down. See, now I'm really confused because they these guys don't have a ram. That's the ram over there. So what are they doing here? Two chariots down. Three. The enemy general's back here. Um, Archer militia are actually going to get you to focus on the look and perim there. Come on, Rangers, move on. Surely they, they've got no way of breaking down this gate, so... Wait a second. Could it be? Has a glitch formed on the map? If it has, then holy crap, we are lucky. We're luckier than Kirith Ungol battles in the in the earlier stages of the campaign. Right. Both rangers are gonna focus on these chariots, gonna clear them out. Although they're quite close to the uh, to the walls now, so I might not be able to kill them. Uh, Archer Militia, I'm actually going to focus you on the Clan Warriors because they're a lighter unit, so you're probably going to get more kills there. Uh, these Rangers, I'm going to focus on the Inas Rim at the back. You guys aren't moving. Oh, I'm so confused. Let's change, change targets a little bit, try and spread out the damage. Actually, all of their troops are right up close to my wall, <laughs> so I'm not getting the I'm not getting the maximum number of maximum amount of, amount of damage I could possibly get. I am trying to take care of the chariots. They're down to three though, so that's that's all right. Oh, I watched that happen. Ooh.
I think Ballista Towers are one hit kills, aren't they? I think. Pretty sure. Right, my militia archers are almost out of ammo. Out of ammo. I can't talk today, I apologize. All of a sudden my speech has just become rubbish. So <laughs> Right, we don't seem to be getting much damage on those chariots, so I'm gonna get my rangers to focus solely on these back two units, because they are the heaviest that the enemy have, excluding chariots. Right, you guys are out of ammo, so just get you off the wall. I'm gonna leave my rangers where they are. I have a feeling that if I push them up to where these militia were, they're, they're gonna shoot up and over like the militia were. If I have them a bit further back, but at an angle, that looks like a lot of their arrows are just going straight at the enemy rather than up and over. I might actually just focus both units on this gamp rim here. Oh, actually. Hold on. Let's keep you up top because you're getting the ballista shower to shoot at the enemy, so we'll keep that going. And we'll just fast forward, I guess. The enemy's lost 21%. Still no movement from the back two. Rangers are almost out of ammo as well. And there we go, they are now officially out of ammo. So now any more casualties will be solely from the uh, tower. Oh, we got another one of the chariots. They're down to two. Brilliant. Right, let's actually uh, spread you out quite a bit because you're getting shot at by the... by the crossbows. So if I can spread them out in a nice long line, then... Uh, is this tower shooting? No. I'm guessing it has to be directly in front of them. 27% of the enemy army. Interesting. Alright, guys. Seeing as this appears to be a bit of a glitch... Uh, what I'll do is I will pause the recording here and I will come back to sort of the last, the, the countdown for the last three minutes, unless something else happens in between now and then. So um, I will see you in a second. All right, so we're back to the last couple of minutes of this battle. Nothing really has happened at all. I have lost quite a lot of archers though. Unfortunately, I noticed during the fast forwarding these crossbows were getting like pinpoint shots on my archers straight up into this wall so I did a bit of backwards and forwards with my <coughs> excuse me with my archers and I finally got them into a nice position here uh, which had them um, a little bit more protected by this tower I still lost a fair few I'm down to 90 uh, they then tried to start shooting at my rangers I lost uh, a ranger there in the fire but I've moved them across as well but my ballista tower is just or my ballista tower Ballista has just been firing constantly. 36% we're up to now. We're on about 28 or something when I paused the recording. So we've gone up by 8% casualties. Or well, the enemy's gone up by 8% casualties. So it's just been constantly firing. For some reason, these clansmen have worked their way backwards. But um, we haven't, unfortunately, killed any more of the chariots, which is a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping the tower might have gotten another one. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, no such luck there. Oh, there we go. We got one. So they're down to one chariot. <laughs> so, three seconds. And by the power the of the glitches, we our have somehow survived at Moranon. Small, small victory? Bloody hell, it's a pretty important one. 48 for 406. If only we could see how many casualties the enemy suffered at if they had like towers 
as a, like a generalization, you know, not per tower, just like towers in general across the entire map, how many kills those towers got. The Ballista Tower would be the highest, <laughs> I think. It's done quite a lot of damage. Nah, it wouldn't be the highest, but you know what I mean. It'd be, it would have a lot of kills. But if anything, this now just shows me just how much I need to improve Moranon's defenses. I need to really build a good number of troops there. Or, you know, get Watch some uh, extra enemy. reinforcements. So, Seragos is now under siege. So, I need to get to Tharband. Oh, hello. Damn. What do you have? Okay, you're just the, you're just the orcs. You're not no trolls, no beasts. That's good. Okay. All right. Let's make a quick save. Don't want to lose any progress. Don't Let's go. Do, 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 do. Right, I'm going to go on to... I think actually this bit is, this is quite a nice spot here. Or should I go up onto this hill? I mean, the hill's not really going to do much, is it? No, I'll take the hill, screw it. Let's take it. Right, so I have... Mostly militia archers, but I do have some rangers and some veterans. So, let's just make sure all of this is switched off. There we go. Got some spearmen here. Unfortunately, my numbers are quite small. <laughs> I do not have a big army. But it's what... It's all I'll need to take the... Uh, to take Thorband, I think. So, we kill the general... In theory, kill him and uh, the enemy's morale collapses. And this becomes a much easier battle. <laughs> wow, they actually get quite close before they get in range. So once we get to around the tree is when I can start firing my catapult. So aim for the halberds. Right, archers, you can just fire at will. Cavalry, let's... We've got loads of archers on the enemy flank, so we'll see if we can run them down. Got our cavalry there. Catapult, hopefully you're going to start firing in a second. There we go. Incoming! Oh, look at that. Two really good hits. Two very good hits there. Oh, they've moved their archers in inwards. No luck getting the general accidentally or anything. <laughs> I suppose it's a bit too much to ask for, really. See if we get a charge on some of these archers here. Oh, good hit. Catapults doing very well there. Right. Archers hold fire. Let's pull you back. I'm going for a bit of a tight formation setup on this one. Mainly because of my numbers. I don't really have the ability to... Uh, spread myself out much, but that's 16% of the enemy army down. So if we can get the enemy to sort of compact themselves against my line here. I can bring my archers <coughs> bring my archers round. Shoot from the flanks. Uh, which is fine because I've got my cavalry trying to disrupt the enemy's archers as well, so with any luck we can uh, a few problems. Get some 
catapult hits there. Two percent for twenty-six. Okay. My infantry aren't engaged yet, so let's push them forwards a bit. We really need to get. Oh, there's halberds. Let's uh, be a bit careful with our archers here. We've run down a lot of their archers. They're 21. We're down to on that unit. Right. If I use one of my archers to pin them down, just take this unit past, and we'll flank this whole orc host unit. The orc hosts are light, so we can probably take care of them quite quickly. Take care of those halberds with our archers. Right, cavalry's just charging in and out there. Let's get our archers in this direction. We can hopefully get these halberds to turn their backs and our rangers can shoot them in their weak spots. Oh, got to get you to shoot. <laughs> right, our line is having a little bit of a trouble. A bit of a trouble? Or is it? No, actually, it's holding out quite well. Doing quite nicely. Enemy general's now out of the, out of the field. Let's see if we can run him down. Send our gold or cab in here. Hey, veterans, do you want to just, you know, form up over there, please? Great. Thank you. Good charge. Good charge. Let's go. Yeah. And we got the general. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So that is going to cause a big collapse in the enemy's morale, I think. Yep. We can see them all routing now. So cavalry, go on to cavalry, move in. General, start focusing over here. How birds are getting wrecked? Good. Let's get our archers up close. Start shooting at the enemy archers. I want everything dead. <laughs> everything must be killed. Got the halberds down to 30. Uh, you run them down. <coughs> So the enemy's actually trying to pull back. It's not routing, they're just pulling back. Interesting. Go on, general. All of them are routed. All right, let's... Uh for the next set of archers. Right, let's take our general this way. Come on. Catch them. Come on, Cavalry, what are you doing? The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will be ours. Aha. Ended up making them turn around. <laughs> Behold how our cowardly foe. Nice. It's time to press the attack. Go 
I'm down to 94. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Twenty-two. Okay. Oh, that'll do. Ninety-seven percent kills. Hundred twenty for eighteen twenty-six. Oh, look at that! Most glorious victory. Three hundred ninety kills for the Gondor Cavalry. Beautiful. So let's hope that that is now the path to Thorband clear, and we can get on and. Com and finish this campaign. Boromir just needs to hold at Seragost. That's all he needs to do is just hold at Seragost. It's a bit of a tall order, but, you know. If he can do it, then we can win this. We are well concealed from the enemy here. <laughs> So I wonder if those guys are trying to get back to save Thorband from the inevitable siege that's about to occur. I think we've got two turns to get there, really. That's how long it's going to take. Oh, hello. But we won't be able to find out yet because this army's attacking. Look at that. All cavalry but one. How have you got how have you got ladders and a siege tower? What do you think you're going to be able to do with those? But one step archer. They're going to be using the ram. As soon as the gate comes down, all of this lot's going to... Oh, this is going to be easy. Well, come on, Alex. You know, come on, Saf. Let's, uh, let's focus here. Let's not get too cocky. Let's not get too cocky here. Because anything can happen in this game. We've learned this many, many times. bit of fog. Interesting. Right. Actually, let's put everything back here for a second. So that I can set all of this up. One. And there's. Let's shuffle this across a bit, actually. And there's the third one. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my infantry line back in here a bit, I think. Try and draw the enemy down. Block these two archways. I'll probably put <coughs> a uh, my two militia units just inside here. Well, at least I will do when the game decides to allow me to set stuff up properly. Uh, right, so there's no point use like deploying the peacekeepers up on the wall because the enemy can't use the ladder uh, or the siege tower. So we have free reign to put our archer militia up there. Let's just fire at will. In fact, let's. So we've got one there, one there, one there. That just blocks that. And then all rangers up on the wall. Lovely. Actually, I probably shouldn't have put them on the wall this early on, but oh well, too late. Thankfully, my ranger, uh, my militia appear to be taking the missile fire. So. I think we're good. Right, all archers can just fire at will now. Might as well. The 
enemy are battering down the gates! Four, Boom. The enemy's ram is through our gates. All right, so we'll hold back on using my rangers for the moment. We're just going to wait and see. We're going to go. We're just going to watch the absolute massacre and the huge kill count that these wooden stakes are about to receive. The enemy have the walls. Look to our defence, or all will be lost. Down to half speed. Did the enemy general kill himself yet? I doesn't look like he has yet, or at all. Javelins from my uh, so my uh, Lebanon guardsman going in there. Second rows being effective. Excellent. Third row is about to be used a little bit. He's down. These guys are going to go down. I am Sapphire, the master of wooden stakes. Bow before me and my wooden stake powerness. <laughs> That's 56% enemy down. <laughs> You see legs flying around in there. <laughs> Only half oh my the god. Remains. Seventy-three. We didn't get the general though. The general survived. <laughs> That's kind of surprising. All right, let's fast forward this a bit now. Back up to one speed. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. Eighty seven per cent. My goodness. I mean, this is just a killing zone right here. Stakes wiped out the cavalry. My archers are just firing down into them without any, any consideration, any mercy. Take out these three. And uh, we move our spearmen up into this line here. Oh, come on, General. Third row's got to kill you. I think it just did. I think it just did. There he goes. His entire unit got wiped out on the third row of stakes. And that's why I have three rangers here. <laughs> oh my god. Look at it. Just look at it from above. Look at this. Row one, row two, row three. It even divides itself up. I mean, look at this. My god. And that one guy there is still holding on. 
And they just routed. So who's... Is it just that one guy left then? It is literally just this one guy. <laughs> hey, where are you running to? I didn't tell you to run anywhere. Border waiting for him to die now, so let's send some extra cavalry. Oh, there. The there we go. The the wow. 1,219 troops died in that attack. I think all but like, probably like 20 of them died on the stakes. Goodness me. I don't even know why I'm still so surprised at this happening because it's the only thing that can happen. But it still just surprises me. Every time. Just the carnage that can happen on wooden stakes. Unreal. Oh well. The AI is never going to learn, so... Why should I change my tactic? My tactics. 22,500 income. We're on five figures, and it's mostly because, uh, well, we gained, we had five and a half, about five and a half thousand before the turn from sacking Balorn. So we've gained more money. So we're about, so I don't think that 13,000 is accurate. I think we're probably around about 10,000. Nevertheless, we have, oh, there's Londangren. Hello. Can't deploy a watchtower here. That's uh, disappointing. There you go. One watchtower. Marchmen. Make awaiting your command. Onward. Start deploying towers. Ready your weapons. Towers everywhere. Onward. Awaiting your command. Forward. Let us set up camp here. All right. So I've got some spare troops here. So let's. We're going to progress them upwards. So get free upkeep along the way. Grondos, I'm going to get some archers from you. These guys, build them. Kirith Hurlwin. Get some more troops. Maybe some extra archers. Right, so. Retrain you, finally. Good. <coughs> and Spearman. Excellent. Getting an armory as well. Lovely. A wretch. One more turn and you're upgraded. Fantastic. Or a wreck. Sorry, I should probably call it. So these guys are all retrained. And I've got some heavy troops here. So let's bring them. Is it worth me bringing them down? It probably is worth me bringing them this way. As you wish. Going to Tarnos. If I don't end up needing them, I'll send them across to the western front. But uh, looking at things, Dol Amroth is finally starting to make a push. Now that I've caused a bit of disruption amongst the Haradrim here, it looks like they're taking the opportunity to move up. So, that's good. No troops on those ships. Which is disappointing. If I, well, to be, actually, no, it's not. Because I don't have any boats I could use myself to go and wipe them out. But still. Right, let's, pr uh, let's bring you across here. You are going in there. So, Brethil is going to be sieged soon. Uh, Minas, Tirith is building roads. Lovely. You're going there. Oh, yeah, I was dividing stuff up to help the retraining. Let's get loads of, uh, of these heavy archers. I can get some heavy spearmen there and stuff. Kerandros, I can get heavies as well. Oh, this is brilliant. Stuart Hall. Barracks for Western Osgoliath. Apparently we don't have the ability to recruit heavy stuff there. Very disappointing. Armourer. Lovely. Because we need to wipe these guys out. So once I've got the army of Minas Tirith retrained, uh, Methylir is going to bring the army across and hopefully we are going to wreak havoc on that unit. Actually, I could probably... I've got a spare ranger here I can use to retrain. 
Do I have any others? I do not. Okay, so let's take one of you there. Oh, I can do another one, actually, by the looks of things. <clears throat> there we go. I can even do a third one. What's going on? Can I do all three of my rangers here? Oh, I can. Excellent. That's going to really help. Of course, cool, so that's two turns for Minas Tirith. Oh, whoops. Right. Uh, Barada's not under threat anymore. My lord. Don't know why I got a diplomat here, but no oh well. Tomorrow's journey. Yes, my lord. You are brave to seek an audience with us. Even a if you came to insult as you wish. Stop it. If you came to insult us, it has worked. Who's this? Okay. So Merc would own the Scorched Plains. Rohan own the Brownlands. And Rune own the old Rune Roads, surprisingly. Any and all extra troops up there, please. Ready your weapons. Uh, how many chariots? Oh, I don't know how many chariots they have. I can't see. Uh. Nice to bring some of these troops across. As you wish. Maintain order. Yes. Any and all extra troops up that way. <laughs> In fact, I'm gonna take these two as well. We can go no Seeing as Paradour is not under threat of siege anymore. Oh, it's going to take another two turns to get there. Oh, no. Approaching quietly. Approaching quietly. I'm going to stick you. Boromir, I hope you can hold. They've got great beasts. Ugh. My lord. Approaching quietly. That does not look like fun. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so, everything appears to be in order at this point. Big garrison at Fanulon. That is where a lot of my re uh, my reinfor uh, reinforcements... I was going to say resources, and then I changed the reinforcements, and it was completely the wrong word. Uh, this appears to be where a lot of my resources is going to. A lot of uh, non-free upkeep going to this area. How many... How much population does it have? 22 and a half... Well, 2,235 population. 1.5% growth, but not really going up very quickly, so I might have to invest in that, but next turn, the first thing first will be a wreck, because it's about to finish upgrading. Don't fall behind. Do, 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 do. Right, I might bring you guys. Be gone. Come and get There's a lot of heavy troops there. Hmm. Have to think about it. Enidwaith is probably going to try and do a counter-attack of some kind. Protect the blood of Numenor. Um. As you wish. We'll make All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm going to end the episode here. So, very, very good episode. Defended Moranon, thankfully because of a glitch. Maybe that is something that will happen frequently if the enemy attacks from that side of the of the Black Gate. Who knows? Um, that could have just been a one-off like it has been at Minas Ithil a couple of times in the past. But uh, nevertheless, Moranon has been defended. Uh, we have defeated the clans of Enderwraith at Balorn and finally taken the castle. Is there actually anything in here that I don't need? I can get, I've got a catapult, mines, shipwright. Plan this is all stuff I could actually deal with. Public order, uh, 15%. I don't really need this. Get rid of that. Yeah, so. 
defeated the, uh, de defended Miranda and defeated Clans of Enderwraith and absolutely slaughtered the Variags. Let's uh, get these guys retrained while I'm thinking about it. Let's do it. Let's get a let's get a fourth ranger. <laughs> let's do it. Yes. Let's see what happens. Can we maybe get a ceasefire with them? Very demanding. I don't understand why people are always very demanding with this. I keep wiping out your people, and you still find it incredibly demanding to accept a ceasefire from us. It just makes no sense to me. Um, so yeah, we'll get the army retrained at Minas Tirith. Uh, we'll bring that across. We'll get rid of this Variag army here that's been blocking the path here. I haven't really wanted to commit to attacking this because I've been putting my resources elsewhere, but uh, I think now I'm going to have to try and get rid of him with that army, so that will clear that. After that, I don't know what I'm going to do with that army. Maybe head south, maybe go to Tirith Raid. Um, in the meantime, Kurian, uh, Koruan, sorry, is heading to Thorband, so we're hopefully going to take that, and if we take that, that is uh, mission complete. So just to remind you guys, I know I've said this a couple of times in past episodes, but just to remind you, our personal objective for this campaign is to wipe out Mordor. Um, anything else that we achieve is uh, is, a, is a secondary objective, it's a bonus. It's not the primary objective for this campaign. So if I can defeat Mordor, um, that will be campaign completed. Whether I carry on from there or not, I don't know. I might call it there or not. I don't know. It depends how I feel towards that when we get to that point. But um, that point's not too far away at the, at the moment. So I'm going to have to start thinking about it. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this episode. And I will catch you all in the next one.